Is there a redheaded superhero out there that you could emulate? Ah, uh, I don't know. Redhead. Maybe I could do like a Irish jig or something, yeah. like a little Irish <laughs> dance. But I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't got anything. I don't got anything yeah. like a watermelon or a pinata that I could, I could throw. Freak Nation. Last time we talked to this guy, he was seventeen. He's still 17. Connor Zilich, wire to wire, kicking off the TA2 season, the Trans Am 2 season. And a Sebring joining us again here in the Freak Nation. And I'm sorry, brother. Um, I'm reading these stats once again for you running with Silver Hair Racing in that Chevy Camaro. And this is bonkers stuff that 17-year-olds could only dream of with what you're doing. Are you a great freaking road racing driver, Connor Zilich? Uh, I don't know. I don't like tooting my own horn, but, um, I feel like I've gotten good at it the last few years, um, racing, uh, you know, every weekend it feels like on a road course and, um, you know, just getting better every time I get in the car. And, um, you know, at this point, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty comfortable driving on a road course, but, um, you know, I see a lot more ovals in my future. So, uh, hopefully that, that will stay a thing in, in the NASCAR series, but, um, yeah, I, I do feel comfortable on road courses. Connor Zilich joining us here in the Freak Nation. Trans Am kicked off this weekend in Sebring, which, of course, you can see the Trans Am series all on MAV TV and MAV TV Select. And Connor winning wire to wire, uh, most wins last year in the TA2 class. And I hear from drivers quite often, not even in the series, talking about how they would rather run in the TA2 class than the big boy class because of how many cars there are and, frankly, the talent in that class are you hearing that from other drivers in other series yeah no i I definitely agree that the the talent and and competition level in in the ta2 class is quite a bit higher than the ta class um you know it was a lot of fun running the ta car and that car is definitely a hoot to drive but um you know ta2 is where um you know the teams and, and the competition is is really picking up and has picked up the last few years with it becoming a pretty big series at this point so yeah, race, racing in the TA2 class has been, um, you know, a lot of fun, and it's always a, a, comp- a, co- a competition, and it's never easy to win those races. So, um, you know, as easy as it may have looked this weekend, you know, leading every lap and um, going wire to wire, it was stressful for me. And, um, you know, it's it's not easy beating those guys like Roth. He's been an IndyCar driver, won the Rolex 24, and, um, you know, these guys are no slouches. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely not easy, and, and people know that. What was stressful? Can you go through that for us? Because like you just said, I mean, I believe it's been three of your last four races. You've led the field to the green, of course, from the pole and then led the entire race. So what is stressful for you with these guys chomping at you from behind? Yeah, you know, um, that race, at, at C- this race at Sebring this past weekend, um, it was it was pretty stressful. I would, you know, caution would come out and you know, drive being in being in a restart when there's you know 37 cars behind you and everyone wants to win just as bad as you do. It it gets stressful, but um, you know those guys they they put the pressure on me and, and did everything they could. Um, you know, I just had a really fast car, and you know my silver hair team has worked really hard, and you know we've shown that that we've improved a bunch in the last two years that that I've been with them. But um, yeah, no, no, those guys. Um, you know when you're when you're running and you know you're leading by a second and a half, it doesn't take take many mistakes for them to catch back up to you. So, um, you know, just the, the idea of being perfect is, is not easy to do when you're racing those cars that are slipping around and, um, you know, it's, it's definitely difficult at times, but, uh, you just got to stay patient and maintain composure and, and you'll be good. Crasher, hold on just a second. Do you think at 27, when you've won your third cup championship, Connor, <laughs> you'll have such humility? Because you're a humble dude. You're a badass freaking driver. You're beating the pants off of dudes that have won <laughs> plenty of races, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I plan on staying the same. I mean, a lot of people have told me not to change, so I guess it's gotten me this far. <laughs> well, I find it interesting. You you referenced the word the word perfect in your last answer. Are you a perfectionist? And does that hinder you sometimes? Uh Sometimes I feel like I, I do try to be perfect and, and, you know, everybody does, but, um, you know, I, I, I also have learned that I do make mistakes and I do mess up from time to time and, you know, that's going to happen. And, um, it happens a lot, probably more than it should for me, but, um, you know, I'm still young and, and have a lot of learning to do. So, 
uh, you know, I've kind of learned to, to deal with my mistakes and, you know, let them go learn from them and, and don't make them twice is the biggest thing. Um, you know, when you're making mistakes, you can make it once, but um, if you make it again, then that's where you messed up. So, um, you know, kind of learning that and understanding that I'm not going to be perfect has not been the easiest thing for me. And I've definitely been mad a few times, but, um, you know, that's how it goes. Huh. Connor Zilich, TA2 winner at Sebring. Your teammate, Daniel Suarez, won Atlanta today. What are you guys at track house putting in your Wheaties in the morning? <laughs> you guys are beating everybody all the time and think nothing of it. Yeah, it's uh it's quite something that that you know Justin Marks and Ty Norris and everyone at track house is building. Um, you know, it's it's cool having drivers around you that, you know, in a sense we're competing against each other, but we all want each other to do better better and you know, we all want each other to win and want the organization to do well. So um, yeah, it's, it's been really cool being a part of it and, you know, having Ross, Daniel, SVG, Zane, and, you know, just being able to, to learn more about them and, you know, learn from them. And, um, you know, there's a lot that I can learn from all those guys, SVG and I, we talked a bunch at Daytona last weekend. We both weren't racing in the cup race, but, um, you know, he's a really good guy and, you know, he's got quite the story and, you know, he's an older kind of guy trying to get into the cup series. And, um, you know, it's kind of cool hearing it from his his perspective versus mine. You know, I'm 17 and um, trying to get into the Cup Series at a younger age. But, um, you know, he's still just as open minded as I am. And, um, you know, he's got just as much to learn as I do, too. So, um, you know, kind of having that same background as him has been really cool. And, um, yeah, really cool to see Daniel win this week. He's he's uh, he's been working hard at it. And, um, you know, all those guys have been working hard at it. So good for Wait, them. Hold, hold on just a second, Statman. Are you a Daniel's amigo? Just saying. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I am. I, I, I am. I, I like Daniel. Daniel's a good dude. He's uh he's always been a good friend of me. And, um, you know, I, uh, I've appreciated all that, you know, Ross and Daniel, the, the advice that they give and, um, you know, just having them as friends. is, is All really right. Cool, wait so. a minute, Connor. I'm stepping on you here for a reason. Oh boy. You said advice mm -hmm. that they give. Give me one thing, cool. one thing that they have helped you with. It seems you win every time you get behind the wheel. Seems like you ought to be giving them some advice. No, no, Ross, Ross is a, he's, he's a really good dude. And, um, you know, I, you know, I've kind of watched races where we work out in the gym together and, um, there's always a NASCAR race on the TV. And, um, you know, one time someone was, someone made a, a not so smart move and, um, <laughs> you know, he just kind of walks me through the process of, you know, sometimes it's better to not be, um, dumb and just accept where you, where you, what you have and, and where you are. And, um, you know, that's kind of something that, that I struggle well, with. That, that's coming from Ross Chastain. I, oh. it, it is, believe it or not. Um, I, but I mean, when, when you don't have the best equipment and, and your car is mm -hmm. not very good and, um, you know, you're not going to win the race, there's no point in going out there and trying to win the race when you know, you can't. So, um, that's kind of the moral of the story that, that I heard from him and it, he might have not even been talking to me directly. I think we were in a group, <laughs> but, um, you know, just the, the concept of that stuff and, um, you know, just having those guys to lean on and, and, and learn from is, is pretty awesome. And, you know, we're all open book and uh, want to learn from each other. And that's, that's one cool thing about those guys. Tell, so, all right, um, this is, this is completely off the wall, but I just kind of wonder, has Ross Chastain taught you how to throw the watermelons yet? No, I, I, that's one thing. Daniel has his pinata and Ross has a watermelon. I need to find something that I can, I can throw or, or do something with. I mean, I don't have uh, a background, but that, that cool, but um, well, I'm going to have to figure out something. At 17, you got to have something that you've done that uh, in high school that I don't know, maybe I don't go to high school. I don't go to high school. Right. <laughs> well, that's something you read in a book. You read a book, haven't you? You something you read in a book that uh, that you can throw out there. Uh, you're you're talking to the wrong guy. Reading books. And you haven't read a book? Come on. I've read a book. I've read a book. My dad makes fun of me for this all the time, and I know he's going to watch this. So, you have um, a superhero. You have a superhero that you uh, when you were when you were a kid <laughs> that you followed. <laughs> I always like Superman, but what am I going to do with Superman? Yep, yeah, right. Well, is you, there, you is there... you, instead of going into a phone booth that he used to do when I was your age, you could come out of the car 
and have a cape on and you'd switch from <laughs> Connor's Village to Super Connor. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe when you see me win in a NASCAR race in the future, maybe you'll see that. We'll have to figure yeah, that one there out. There you go. There you Is go. Is there a redheaded superhero out there that you could emulate? Ah, uh, I don't You're know. Maybe I could do like a Irish jig or something, <laughs> like a little Irish dance, but I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't got anything. I don't got anything yeah. like a watermelon or a pinata that I could, I could throw. I need to find like something. All right. Well, we don't have right. enough time to figure this keep, thing we'll out. We'll keep figuring it out. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Well, buddy, we are we are extremely proud of what you're doing. We know you're on the road to greatness. Uh, and just keep at it, man. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in creating problem solving products to make your car care easier. We protect your vehicle and make it run longer so you can focus on the things that matter most. Lucas Oil, it works. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAF TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAF TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAF TV, Motorsports Network. Yes, indeed. Ludacris, I'm hotter than Nevada. Boss, ride a cowboy.